The 2025 Carnival Hybrid is a more fuel-efficient model that Kia is adding to their inventory of minivans this year. It bears a striking resemblance to the non-hybrid 2025 Carnival, which sports new style for this year. However, Kia has replaced the naturally aspirated V6 engine and 8-speed automatic transmission with a hybrid system that consists of a 6-speed automatic and electric motor and a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine. The front-wheel drive setup has not changed with the transition to an electrified powertrain, so the Toyota Sienna remains a viable option if you're looking for an all-wheel drive hybrid minivan. Other than that, the Carnival Hybrid is anticipated to have the same degree of comfort, functionality, and sophistication as its gas-only sister. The hybrid type of the Carnival also comes with its unique second-row seats, which can be transformed into fully reclined chairs with footrests. With its ability to stream movies and TV series from the rear seat entertainment system, this van has the potential to be a very kid-friendly vehicle. Aim for the summer of 2024 to see the 2025 Carnival Hybrid arrive at Kia dealers. The Carnival Hybrid is a new vehicle that Kia is offering for the 2025 model year, despite the non-hybrid Carnival having been available for a while. Cargo, comfort, and interior. The dashboard and front seat area of the Carnival Hybrid are contemporary and roomy. Plenty of space for storing small items is provided by the roomy center console, and you can easily access the van's communication functions with the optional dual-screen infotainment system that has a digital gauge display. Pop-up footrests and leather upholstery are included on the luxurious SX Prestige level, which also offers second-row seats that recline. The Carnival's maximum baggage capacity and versatility are limited because these can't be removed or stowed in the floor like competing minivans, despite the fact that they offer passengers a comfortable way to pass the time on a long road trip. The kids may enjoy some fresh air thanks to the spacious aperture above the second row provided by the optional panoramic sunroof. In the test, 14 carry-on bags fit behind the third row of seats, with a total of 48 bags accommodated when all the seats were folded. Though it should be mentioned that the Honda Odyssey and Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid both proved to be marginally more spacious still, that is a ton of cargo capacity, connectivity, and entertainment. The Carnival Hybrid comes with a single 8-inch infotainment screen as standard, but two 12.3-inch screens that take up two-thirds of the dashboard are available. One of the screens is used for infotainment, and the other is a digital gauge display. The infotainment software includes a voice assistant that allows passengers to ask the vehicle to do things like open a window, change the temperature, or find their way to a location. Both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay come standard. The Carnival stateroom is equipped with two more power outlets in addition to seven USB connections, starting with the SX trim level, an optional rear seat entertainment system with two 14.6-inch screens that offer streaming services is available. Since the system supports Bluetooth headphones, the kids may watch Paw Patrol and Bluey while you drive in peace. Only the top-tier SX Prestige trim level has access to a 12-speaker Bose radio, performance, transmission, and engine. A 72 GP electric motor is added to the standard 1.6-liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine in all Carnival hybrid vehicles to power the front wheels. With this combination, the car has 242 horsepower, which is marginally less than the 287 horsepower V6 engine of the non-hybrid Carnival. Standard is a six-speed automatic. According to Kia, the Carnival hybrid has a number of cutting-edge features that may change the electric motor's speed and acceleration to improve handling and ride quality. According to reports, the e-ride and e-handling systems also provide a driver assistance feature that aids during an emergency evasive movement, features for safety and driver assistance, lane-keeping assistance, automated high-beam headlights, and blind spot monitoring are just a few of the many standard driver assistance technologies that Kia offers. These features help the Carnival compete with hybrid vehicles like the Honda Odyssey, Pacifica Hybrid, and Sienna Hybrid. 
coverage for maintenance and warranties. With a powertrain guarantee that lasts 10 years or 100,000 miles, Kia's warranty outperforms those of its competitors. However, the Carnival Hybrid isn't covered by free planned maintenance like the Sienna is. Cost and selection of purchase. Depending on the specification and extras, the 2025 Kia Carnival Hybrid can cost anywhere from $41,900 to $54,000. There will be four trim levels available for the Carnival Hybrid, ranging from the base LXS to the top of the line SX Prestige with loads of features. The EX is considered the best value due to its additional features, including a motorized tailgate, a wireless smartphone charger, a larger infotainment display, and 19-inch alloy wheels. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.